Hey guys, now in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at an enclosure that is going to expand the storage of your laptop, tablet, iPad, iPhone, Android phone, Android tablet, any device you have where you'd like to have expanded fast storage and doing it easily and conveniently. We're talking about the Acasis Thunderbolt uh, enclosure. Now, we looked at this product previously. Check this out. We looked at this version and we had reviewed it on the channel and this is a fantastic product. But in today's video, we're looking at an upgraded version that not only can it support one NVMe, that's those are those really thin memory cards that look like a stick of gum, but it can support two. You heard that right, two. Let's check it out. Now this drive is a pretty exciting upgrade and let's take a look at some of the specs here. We're gonna just flip it over because at first glance, it looks like its predecessor, but there's a lot of differences. Now, here's where some of the cool stuff starts happening with this drive. Uh, first of all, I just wanna jump to the capacity. Maximum capacity of up to 16 terabytes. That's pretty incredible. And that's because of the different type of solid state um, memory uh, cards that you can use or NVMEs. And you'll notice that there's a wide variety of them, standard size and even smaller that you can use here. And then the other thing that you'll notice is the speed. So 400 BPS is what you're going to be able to get out of this. And it does have additional connectivity, right? And each one of those connectivity ports is going to give you different types of uplink speeds. Uh, let's take a closer look at the actual unit itself because we'll see all the ports there. Now in the box, you're going to have several accessories that we'll talk about. Uh, the most significant one that you'll find that's new is the fact that now it has a brick. And this is a pretty robust brick that is going to provide additional power because you do have two NVMe drives. Now with this previous one, I was able to actually uh, connect it to my, to my actual iPad and run it without any kind of connectivity. So my iPad can run it. It would not run off of my phone. So if I was going to connect it on a phone, I would have to supply some power. That's the same thing like with the Fold, the Flip, the S24 Ultra, and even the iPhone. But now, because of the NVMe, uh, you do require to have an external power source uh, to make sure that that's running. But there's also some improvements um, in the device that we'll take a look at. So you have this power brick that's included. And then you have two cables. One cable right here, which is going to be for power. You can see this one right here, and it has no thunderbolt on it. So this is your power cable. And then what you have over here is one that has a thunderbolt on it. So this is going to be your high speed data cable, right? This is the one that you're going to be using for moving data back and forth. Now it does have several adapters in here and I'm going to go ahead and just pop this open to show you some of the things that it includes, right? So things that you're going to scratch your head and say, what's this for? So for example, this right here, these little pieces of plastic, these are adapters. So depending on the type of NVMe you get, sometimes there's this short one, you would basically attach these adapters to extend it so that it can lock into the actual docking uh, bay for the memory. Uh, I also then have uh, some gels, and these are gels that you put on top of your NVMe, these right here, that basically keep it cool, right? They're cooling gels because as you're moving data back and forth, the, the drive itself as well as the memory can start to heat up. And one of the things that is the enemy of any memory card is heat. So you want things cool. Now, I'm gonna just go ahead and separate this so that you can see kind of what's going on here. And we're gonna put both of them side by side, the original and then this one right here. Let me go ahead and separate that, all right? And I actually took out the NVMe from one and put it into the next. All right, we'll go ahead and flip these over so you can take a look at them both. So a couple things going on here. First of all, you can see that big difference is that not only the original one had one, this one has two, right? It has two NVMe slots. I have a two terabyte and a one terabyte in here. So that's three terabytes of storage that I have. And for my use, I use these a lot. Um, I use these with when I'm doing all my video editing. Instead of carrying um, hard drives and other storage things, when I'm on a plane, I have one of these with me. Now, uh, what you'll see here is that there's no tools either required to connect this. So, you know, this has a little push, rubber push pin that goes in. You put in your NVMe, and if you had a shorter one, you'd use those adapters to extend it, and then you basically seal it. Now, what you do is you just put this right here like this, lock it in place, and you're done. No screwdriver, nothing required, and you're set to go. We'll go ahead and do the same thing for this guy right here. All right, put him into place. Now, a couple things that you'll notice here uh, that has changed, and let's get on this side. First of all, HDMI out, right? So here you have 4K um, HDMI, and it has 4K60, as you can see right there, 4K60. You do have a PD 
uh, power, right? So this is where you're going to uh, provide it, uh, supply it with power, right? You have a fan button, right? Which uh, we didn't have before. So you can turn on and off the fan, which is nice. Uh, some were complaining that it was a little bit too loud. So I believe that that's probably why they added that. You also have your USB, and this is again, a high speed USB, 10 gigabits. So you can see that right there. And then over here, you then have also 40 gigabits, as well as you know you have for your PC, and then also your data, right? So you have, again, a couple data, data connections here. So you can see really clearly that you have some expandability, power, uh, two inputs, USB-C, one USB-C, one USB-A, and then you have these little feet right here. If I remove this plastic, because it becomes a little annoying. Uh, basically, these are the feet, and this is going to help you keep it, you know, secure in place so it doesn't move. This one I still use a lot, and yeah, I know, I'm the guy that doesn't remove his plastic. Uh, go ahead and remove it, because, you know, I'm trying to grow. <laughs> it's like, so uh, this is what you have going on here. Uh, so this this is, and I will tell you, just by holding it, it's a little bit heavier because of having that extra memory. And all in all, I, as soon as I grab that, I can feel in the box that it was heavier. This, uh, again, battery or this uh, charging brick was also, it's, it's pretty hefty as well. So uh, let's connect this. I'm going to connect this to my Mac. Uh, I'm going to put it on my MacBook because I'm going to show you how I use it, right? I use it with my, actually my iPad Pro. And I want you to see my workflow. And what we'll do is we'll move some things around to see how it works. I have the brand new Acasis enclosure here. Uh, I have it powered up. And that's going to the side to get some power. I have the actual Thunderbolt cable going into my iPad USB-C port. And I have two drives here. Just want to show you what I have going on. Uh, first of all, I have my T7 Black, right? And that's one of them. And then I have a brand new one that I'm just calling brand new. And I just want to show you how fast the responsiveness is on my iPad. And, I, and I'm editing videos. I use either DaVinci or I use LumaFusion to do all my editing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch this video because I want to see what the performance is coming from this specific drive. So I'm going to go ahead and launch it. You saw how quickly that opened up. Let's do this now. So this is one of our reviews where we're just, uh, again, looking at all these accessories. And you saw how nice that performance was. Now, what I'm going to look at is I'm going to go into my downloads directory. And I don't know if I have anything that's large enough here that we can move around. So let's look at it for something that's big. Um, you know what? There's something, there's something about, is there anything? Wow, I don't have really big files in this one right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this file. This is 373 megabytes, right? You're going to have much bigger files if you're like me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this and I'm going to, let's go press and hold. And oops. And now I'm going to put it on the new drive. I'm going to just let it go, and we're going to see how fast that was. That was too fast. 300 megs are definitely, it just eats it up. It's there. That was like that. Well, now we have over here, this is a no-joke file. This is 7.56 gigabytes. Right? That's a video, and you saw that's a Jabra video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it from here to the other NVMe. I'm going to grab it, bring it over, right? And before we do that, let me just show you. Nothing there. It's empty. So I'm going to go over here, I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to drop it in that one right there. And you can see it coming across. You can see that little clock right there. That is wicked fast. Seven gigabytes in seconds, right? It wasn't a minute, it was seconds. And we have it here. And if I tap on it, there it is. Same file, right? And if I go back to the new one, you'll notice that it has the other two there. Now, I do have the fan running on it. So I just wanted to show you the overall performance because the performance is pretty good. And I'm going to disconnect this for a second, move this over to the side. And I want to bring it close to the mic. Now, I have the ability to turn off the fan, which I did there. Fan's on. Let's see. Okay. So right now it's off. And I'm going to put this close to the mic to see how much it's picking up. Literally, I'm going to put it right on the mic. That's off. We're going to do it again. And off. Um, I'm going to rest it right here, and you guys can see it with the overhead camera. I'm going to turn it on. 
And now I have some white noise going on, so I'm, I'm not able to hear it. Definitely if I put my hand on it, I can feel it, but not hear it. So I find that this fan is a little bit quieter than the one that we have here. This one was a little bit louder. And maybe it's because of the placement as well. So as you look at this guy right here, uh, the fan was on the bottom. See that right here on the bottom? Not on the top. On this guy, it's on the top. And I actually prefer that because by it being on the top, let's go separate this. Um, and notice uh, there's been some changes in the in the design. So it was on the bottom because the NVMe was on the bottom, right? That's what we see over here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open this one up and you can see the change that they've made here is that the NVMe is now on the top, not on the bottom. And the fan is here. And you can notice that there's extra cooling here, right? Probably not the, the best thing for me to open it while it's powered, but hey, it's for science, right? Uh, and here we have it powered up. And you'll notice when I was connecting to the Mac, I did have it connected to this one right here, to the PC one. And basically you see that it indicates that there's a cable connected to it. And then you have your two SDs. Uh, I already know that when I plug this in, uh, if it's not powered, it doesn't do well, at least with my devices, especially when I have two NVMEs in there. Um, so that's just one thing that you need to be aware of. If um, I've been able to get away with it with one NVMe, right? as you can know with this guy right here, but two of them, uh, I have required power. And you know what? I'm just going to test that again while we're doing this just to be on the safe side. I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to wait and see if anything pops up. And you'll notice nothing is showing up here. It does show, and notice no lights either. So if you look at that, there are no lights. I'll put it this way. No lights are lighting up and I'm connected, and that's because there's just not enough power with all the things that this guy is doing. So you're gonna to have to power it in order to be able to get it to work. Uh, with this guy, I was able to power it without having any additional power going into it, even though it did have, and let me see, where is it right here? On the side, yeah. So basically what you had is a DC in, right? And then this is where you would connect it to the PC, over here, I had a type C where I can connect something auxiliary. Over here, I had two USB A's and then I had display port out, right? So there's, there's some changes, but if you're looking for expanded storage, if you have, like I do, I have one terabyte NVMEs, I have a two terabyte. Now I have three terabytes that I can have at the same time. That makes it a really powerful solution. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.